Are you trying to save time when editing? Do you want to save your settings and forget about it? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make and save effect presets in Adobe Premiere Elements, which is going to save you a ton of time while video editing. Hey, this is Ish, and if you're new to Premiere Elements though, in the top right corner, I will link to another video I did on Adobe Premiere Elements called Getting Started. That video about 30 minutes long is where I cover all the basics that I wish someone would have shared with me when I was getting started. Right now though, I'm going to jump into expert mode and show you how to save your preset. If you've seen my other Adobe Premiere Elements videos and you're familiar with this, it's a lower third that I use to break up different sections and to title new sections. Each time I bring this in, it's right about this size and then I have to go in and change the size and dimensions and the positions. I'm going to adjust this right now and then I'm also going to add keyframes to make it come in and off the screen and then I'm going to show you how I'm able to save this as a preset so that each time I bring this in I can just apply an effect and then it's going to automatically adjust the size the position and add the keyframes go right here to apply the effects select motion and then right here I've already enabled the keyframes but if you don't have it this on click here that's going to hide it and this is going to show it I'm going to adjust the size so I'm going to change it to 50% and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it down and I'm going to put it right about here. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to apply keyframes. So if you aren't familiar with keyframes in the top right corner, I'm going to link to a video that explains keyframes and shows you five different ways that you can apply and use keyframes. Do is I'm going to just keyframe the position. So I'm going to click toggle animation right here. I'm going to change the position. So I'm going to move it to right here. I want it to be in the middle. So I'm going to apply another keyframe. And then I want this keyframe to hold its position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right there. I'm going to apply another keyframe. What it's going to do is go and maintain this lower third, right? This position. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the beginning making sure I'm on this keyframe and what I'm going to do is I want this to actually start off screen so I'm going to just drag this off the screen as you can see it's going to slide on screen then it's going to stay and then lastly what I want to do is I want it to slide off the screen so again I'm going to adjust the position and I'm going to drag it off now it's going to slide on screen it's going to hold say preset and then it's going to quickly slide off the screen the next thing that I want to do is I want to add an effect just for this example to show how you can save multiple effects to a preset so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to add an alpha glow alpha glow is one of the effects so I'm going to select alpha glow and I'm going to drag it over here and as you can see alpha glow has been added to the bottom below motion and opacity so next I'm going to adjust the color I'm going to adjust this I'm going to select that so now it's going to glow in the same color as what the preset is dim this down a little bit dim the brightness down so it's not a deep glow it's just like a nice light glow now that, that, that i have the effects that i want in the system i'm going to save the presets so motion and alpha glow were the one that i changed is i'm going to hold down the control key and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click alpha i'm going to make sure i right click motion so usually i just make sure that they're both highlighted in white and then I select both because sometimes Adobe may not have one selected or not selected. So just making sure I hold down control and that both motion and both alpha glow are selected while holding down the control key, left click and select save preset. So then in this dialog window that opens, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it lower third alpha glow preset three different types there's scale so what it does is it scales the source keyframe proportionally to the length of the target clip and it will also delete any existing keyframes that are on the target clip for anchor to endpoint what it does is it positions the presets first keyframe according to Adobe at the same distance from the target clips endpoint as it was from the original clips endpoint for example if the first keyframe was one second from the endpoint of the source clip when you save the preset this option adds the keyframe at one second from the endpoint of the target clip and adds all other keyframes relative to that position. So anchor to out point is very similar. So if the first keyframe was one second from the out point 
of the source clip when you save the preset. This option adds the keyframe at one second from the out point of the target clip and adds all other keyframes relative to that position without scaling. So there probably may be a time when you need to use that. For me, I wanna do anchor to end point because I want all those keyframes to be the same and consistent. So when I apply it to the same clip, I wanna know that it's gonna come in with that same speed and then hold for this same amount of time and then be off the screen by that time that way it's consistent for my lower thirds maybe for something else i would use scale um, when you're doing maybe an effect overall and then for description i'm just going to type in example and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select okay i'm going to delete this and then i'm going to bring in a new one that's doesn't have been unchanged to show you how you can apply it so i'm going to go back to effects i'm going to go to video right here i'm in my presets so to get to my presets, you can come to this drop down window and then go down here, my preset. It has lower third alpha glow preset. And as I hover over it, what I typed in the description example is right there in that little box example. If I click it, what you'll see is it's, it's showing you that preview of what's happening at the beginning with that. So another way, if you want to be able to find this is let me go to show all. So I have show all on, but I remember the name because I named it. So I'm going to say lower and it comes right up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply lower third and then look window opened up. What did it do? It adjusted the size to 50%. It put it in position. It dropped in all the keyframes right there. It comes on screen stops just like I had it before it comes right off and then the alpha glow still has all those exact same colors that I had in there because for me personally when I was doing my lower thirds I would edit everything then I would drop my clips I actually memorized the position and the scale or I would write it down on a sheet of paper and then I would go in there and type it in and if I had keyframes I would redo keyframes or I would just not do any keyframes at all i would just do a simple transition and that's why they would all kind of look slightly different when my lower thirds would come in but now i can just easily drop these in and it's going to put them all at the same position and the same size so that's the good thing about it is you can use this for anything really in the effects panel anyone that you want to change or you adjust color tint um, same thing with motion opacity any of these that are in the supplied effects, you can just right click and click save preset, name it, and then you can pull it back up to be able to have that repeatability. Um, one thing to note about in this apply effect window is that if you apply a preset to a clip and the preset contains properties for an effect that is already applied to the clip, the clip is modified using the following rules according to Adobe. If the effect preset contains a fixed preset, for example, motion or opacity, or if you're talking about audio volume, applying the preset replaces the existing effect properties. If the effect preset contains a standard non-fixed effect, for example, alpha glow, the effects is added to the bottom of the list of effects, which is what happened here. That that is how you apply one of the saved effects presets. Hey, if you got value out of this video and you're going to save a bunch of time using Adobe Premiere Elements, well, here's five ways you can support my channel. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, comment below. Let me know what other videos you would like to see on how to use Adobe Premiere Elements and let me know how you plan to use the different presets. Number three, subscribe to my channel. It's focused on travel experiences and fun. One of the experiences I share is my experience editing videos for YouTube using Adobe Premiere Elements. And if you use that software too, then you definitely want to hit subscribe and click the bell so you never miss another new video so you can learn some cool tricks and how to make some professional looking videos. Number four, Download TubeBuddy. I have an affiliate link below. I use TubeBuddy to help me with all the background stuff for my channel, including research and tags. If you want to learn more about TubeBuddy, in the top right corner, I'll link to a six minute video where I go over how to get half off if you have less than one subscribers on YouTube. Last but not least, sign up for Canva using my affiliate link below. Right now, they have a 30 day trial of the pro license. I use it for all of my stock footage to, and to create the lower third that you saw in this video. Plus, if you want some really cool thumbnails, you need to use Canva. That's what I use for all my thumbnails. Check it out below. I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you made it to the end. My name is Ish and I challenge you to go out there and have a new experience today.